12 gauge double aught buckshot. Who doesn't appreciate the ballistic potential of 12 gauge double aught buckshot? So, do you think double aught buckshot will get the job done? By the way, that was with the Mossberg 590A1 special purpose, 20 inch barrel. And while that last scene was a little bit disturbing, hey, Bigfoot has his right to self defense also. Now, we're working with the two and three quarter inch shells. I realize there's some other options out there, but that's what we have today. Two and three quarter inch shells, advertised muzzle velocity of 1,325 feet per second. There are nine pellets. And here's a close-up of some of those. 33 caliber, 0.33 diameter in inches. And each one weighs approximately 52 grains. So they're smaller than a 9 millimeter bullet. And as far as weight, just a little bit under your uh, typical 55 grain NATO or 223 full metal jacket round. We're ready for the block. This is the SimTest Media. I recalibrated the density from its original format so that it matches 10% ordnance gel. It's an or ballistic gel. The block is 19 and a half inches in length, 8 and a half inches wide at the base, 5 and a half inches tall, and it weighs 43 pounds. Air temperature is currently 48 degrees. Block temp is 65 degrees. And we are going to bust this from 20 feet. Typical home defense distance. Well, that's okay. This table is used for ballistic testing, and I was holding the post in the middle of the ghost ring sight, and that's where I'm hitting. A little bit low at 20 feet. A couple of pellets may or may not have made it into the block. We're going to find out in just a moment. Let's get a close-up of that. That's nastiness. The good news is nothing penetrated out the top, back, or the sides. This is much more complex than trying to analyze a handgun or even a rifle test. So here's the first segment. This is part of the block over on the left side of the pattern. We have two pellets that came in here. And notice uh, about, where is that? About six inches in, they actually cross paths. Now this is reversed, so that's going up and that continues straight. But this gives you an idea of how erratic uh, this pattern can work once it gets inside of the media. Here's another section of the block. This is on the right side of the pattern where two pellets came in very close to each other, traveling pretty much a straight path, but in doing so, this initial trauma area is about an inch and a half wide across this area, it runs about five inches deep as far as that uh, so-called blunt force trauma, and the paths carry on straight. Now this block or section of it's about 13 inches in length. We'll get to the penetration numbers in just a moment. These are the entry points from that channel I showed you a moment ago, the two pellets coming in close to each other and running parallel. From wall to wall, the diameter is right at one and a quarter inches up to maybe one and a half in some points, running approximately five inches deep. And just imagine how much worse that would have been had we been shooting from five, 10, or even 15 feet. I was successful in finding all nine of the pellets. And that took about an hour and a half off camera, obviously. These numbers represent the penetration depth in inches. Starting down at the bottom, these two were technically underneath the block on the table at about five inches. They both skirted along just underneath it, but uh, obviously didn't penetrate all the way through. Nine and a half inches, that was in the block on the lower left side of the pattern. Then you have some in the middle, 12, 14, 15, the deepest one at 15 and a half. You can see that they are deformed to some extent flatten out on one side, but obviously not expanding. 13 and a half inches there and 12 and a half. The interesting thing, and you may already be seeing this, the closer to the center of the pattern, the greater the penetration. I know I learned quite a bit from this little experiment. I hope you found it educational as well. 
Remington 12 gauge double odd buckshot. It's going to leave a mark. Thanks for watching.